here in our Washington studios is our distinguished guest, Professor George Ite, President of the Free Africa Foundation, which is based here in Washington, D.C. Well, what can I say? Uh, I'm always profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled, frankly, to have an opportunity to host you on Straight Talk Africa. Oh, thank you for having me. There are people, in fact, who sometimes think that uh, you are a resident analyst of Straight Talk Africa. Well, <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, the report was, as I listened to the report, it was very depressing. Very depressing, uh, indeed. You know, it's... Um, you find it more depressing than your book? Well, it's one of the reasons why I wrote the book. And um, the reason why it is depressing is that, look, dictators have caused so much havoc We'll come, so we'll come, much destruction. We'll come to that. In fact, you have to tell us the meaning of dictator or a dictatorship. Sure. Later in the program, we'll give you, the audience, a chance to call and talk with our guest. The number to call is 202-619-3111. The U.S. country code is one. First of all, uh, congratulations, frankly, uh, in as far as this book is concerned. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's probably yet uh, another potentially award-winning book. Well, thank you. Um, it's, it's going to be controversial. The, that one I know. The, you know, some of, the, uh, uh, some of the critics of your book, like especially the Chicago Tribune, says that uh, Aite sees Africa honestly. Well, thank you. Yes. Do you, in fact, see it honestly? Because there are, frankly, a lot of people who say that you see it superficially, that you don't physically live there, for example, and yet uh, you seem to be in every corner, every nook of the continent, at least in terms of... In your books, well, I, I do a lot of you know traveling in Africa. But at the same time, uh, there are certain things on the ground uh, that I listen to. Mm -hmm. I speak to a lot of Africans, and 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 sometimes you see the thing is, um, you know, the post-colonial our post-colonial record is not very good, uh, especially when you look at economically mm -hmm. and politically, and one has to be honest about it. The I'm Christian Science Monitor itself here is saying that uh, as a black African, Aite brings a personal, passionate commitment to his analysis. Mm -hmm. True? Well, it is true because, you see, look, I am, you know, I'm very angry at the condition of Africa. And sh Africa should not be in such a, you know, a, a mess. You definitely are. Uh, you definitely are, especially according to the New York Times book review, which says robust and provocative. IT takes no prisoners. Well, you, you, we, you, you have to face the facts. We have to face our problems. And we have to come to grips with our own problems and solve them, create our own solutions. What about the village voice which says IT is unpredictable and provocative? Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, when, when we, sometimes, you know, we get complacent about, you know, uh, various African governments and various African leaders. You know, we think that, well, maybe because they want independence for their respective countries. Right. We don't want to criticize them too much, you know, and maybe they are doing some good things. Fine, all dictators, you know, can be said to have, you know, at least embarked on something good for their countries, okay? In fairness to these uh Major leagues, uh, Western media, which uh, criticized your book or critiqued your book uh, more precisely. Did you think, for example, about giving an opportunity to some of the major African newspapers or media houses to say something about this? Book? Oh yes, yes. The African Books Club has, you know, given the book a very, very good review. Mm -hmm. And as an African uh, scholar, professor, two African professors have given the book very, very good reviews. For example. So, well, there is a professor called Peter Van, Van Kuta. Mm -hmm. You know, he's in, uh, if you go to Amazon.com, you know, you see his review there. And the African Book Club has also posted a review of the book on their website. You talk about that. Uh, and I've also been on the Ethiopian, you know, satellite television. I saw you. Uh, uh, yes. I saw you on the Ethiopian uh, satellite uh, channel. But I was thinking more importantly, frankly, about newspapers, radio, television stations, uh, professors on the African continent. It takes time. This book was released just, you know, less than a month ago. I hear you. Okay, so it takes time before it gets there. You talk about uh, defeating dictators. Yes. To put it very simply, what is a dictator or who is a dictator? Well, you know, uh, first of all, a dictator is somebody who imposes himself on his people. His, uh, he cannot be held accountable. He's not chosen by his people. Uh, how does he impose himself upon his people? Give me some examples, frankly, because let's face it. Some of these people came to, come to power with AK-47. Yes. 
yeah. saying that uh, they have come to liberate their people well, from people they consider to be dictators. Yes, and then they turn out to be crocodile liberators, themselves worse than the dictators that they said they, they claim to have ousted. When I mean, you say crocodile dictators, what exactly are you talking about? I mean, talking I'm, about talk, I'm talking about, you know, it's like crocodile tears, it's fake. You know, they are crocodile liberators. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Ethiopia, for example. We said we didn't like, you know, uh, Colonel Mengisu uh, Mariam. Mariam. Okay? And look, we had Melezina, we come to power. And look at Melezina, which is worse than uh, Mengisu. In what way? In, in, it's in exactly the same. Look at what happened uh, in May of 2010, but after the elections. Of, there are a lot of people, frankly, who say that, uh, on the contrary, Melezinawi is uh, a man who probably has a PhD in development well, that is putting in place infrastructure, uh, building roads, schools, uh, dams, you name it. Uh, fine. Bagbo was also a history professor of Ivory Coast yeah, before he became the president of Ivory Coast. You know, he was also doing some good things for the country, but look at Ivory Coast right now. Ivory Coast is totally destroyed. Look, what we want is basically Africans to have an opportunity okay, to choose their leaders, okay, without their votes being nullified, without their votes being stolen, okay. If you do that, then you meet my definition of a dictator. How do you do it? Because let's face it, uh, a lot of these Africans you describe as dictators actually will tell you that they have conducted elections periodically and they have been returned to power. Oh yes, like Ben Ali. Okay, he won all six elections during his tenure in office. Okay, why? Because they control the electoral commission. Okay, it's the same thing in Zimbabwe. They control the electoral commission. And so long as you control the electoral commission in Zimbabwe, in Cameroon, you're not going to have free and fair elections. And that's why an independent electoral commission is very important.